Hey guys, so I'm here today to show you my latest project, which is a high voltage DC generator uh, based on a recent Fundamental Friday post by EEV Blog. Uh, this will be a video response to his video actually. Uh, so, what I've done actually, I've got a 12 volt power supply here, um, generating a square waveform here, feeding that into an H bridge to invert it and double the voltage, and then I feed that through a chain of uh, voltage multipliers. And basically, I end up with about 120 volts on the output which is enough to strike the neon tube that I'm driving here, a little tiny uh, neon tube glowing orange, and um, that's basically it. So I'm going to bring the camera a bit closer, I'll give you a little tour of my breadboard, and uh, explain how it works. Alright, so here's the main circuit here. Um, pretty much I've got three stages. Um, you've got a, an oscillator section, which is based on a 555 timer, running at a 50% duty cycle. I've got an H-bridge here, which inverts that waveform and doubles the voltage. I feed that into a voltage multiplier chain around the breadboard this way here. That's a six-stage multiplier, two caps per stage. And then uh, that feeds a neon tube here at about 105 volts once it's been struck and, and it's drawing current. Um, if I pull the tube out, well, you'll see here, actually, I'm running at about 104 volts, give or take. If I pull the tube out, it'll hop right up to about 120 volts or so. Which makes sense, the voltage output on the H-bridge is about 20 volts peak to peak, 21, and then there's some diode losses through the circuit and you end up with about 120. So you can see there, it's pretty bright, it looks good. The only drawback is that the output is a DC waveform, so unfortunately the tube only uh, glows on one electrode, but whatever, I think it's pretty cool looking. And uh, also I've got a little bleed resistor here because when you power the system down, you see the voltage, it takes a little while to fall, um, and it's much, much worse. So that's about a 560k ohm resistor. Without that, it would just sit at 60 volts for a long, long time, and somebody's going to get shocked. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to just zoom the camera in a bit more so you can get a look at the neon tube running, and I'll show you how the one electrode looks all by itself. All right, so here's a quick last zoom-in shot. I'm going to just uh, turn the power supply on, and there's a bit of a delay while the system charges up, and then you can see the electrode here on the left is glowing. Uh, there are two in these tubes, but uh, only the one glows, in, unless you provide an AC waveform, in which case both will glow, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching, I hope you like it, and um, yeah, we'll see you next time.